Uh, you've just walked in. Yeah. You ready for a big one? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a Legends match and they've got the Legends in. Mm -hmm. So um, you're welcome, everybody, and, and ready for a big one. I'll probably go straight in for a bit of a, a rub down. And then um, I know maybe a five minute break, a bit more of a rub down. Um, then perhaps these guys will just G me up a bit, tell me how good I am, and I'll go out there. Now, the big story today in AFL news is sledging. Yep. Have you got some ready to rock and roll? I think it's my biggest weapon, yep. actually. Yeah. And I'm playing, playing on a portly Hamish Blake for most of the game. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes there. Is it just going to be an easy target then? I feel so. I yeah. feel so. I mean, I, I, he's, he hasn't had, hasn't had any, any injuries going into the match, yeah. which is good, but that's largely because he's never done any physical activity whatsoever. Okay. So I think he's injury clear. I'm injury clear. Yeah. I've done no physical activity either. So it's, um, it's a win-win. Are you physically scared of anyone that might be out there on the ground tonight? I'm, I'm scared of Monkhurst, yeah. but he's on my team. Right. But he's still a scary bloke to look at. We've seen him, and they're the he's, biggest thighs. I, I think. In yeah. fact, I think one thigh might be about your girth. Yeah, I'm worried about that. All worried right. about that. Thanks, Good luck. Yeah, we just saw the uh, mascots run through, and it's great for the kids, but it's actually a bit sad for the players because they're just uh, they're just a few football players that didn't quite make it to legend status inside the big cat. David Minch, he wanted to do everything he could to hit the Telstra Dome tonight, but unfortunately he had to put on the outfit. Okay, we're talking sledging. Hey, yep. uh, we've heard from Andy Lee that That's he reckons fainting because. He's, <laughs> Out of fear of you, yeah, really. Already. I've seen you train. How are you feeling? You're ready to play? 100%. 100%. Yeah. In terms of, obviously, you train very hard in the leading months, then yeah. you taper, and yeah. by tapering, that's really where I, like, when it comes to sport, I'm a master taperer. Right. No one can taper like I am. Yeah. I started tapering. Thanks, guys. I started tapering probably about 15 years ago for this. So, on game day, right now, you're seeing me so tapered. So tapered. You're barely moving. So relaxed, yeah. you know, but ready to zip into action. Sledging. Now, yep. Andy has suggested that he will outdo you this nah, evening. I've got plenty of sledges for Andy. Yeah? Uh, you got a friend's ugly? Oh, that doesn't work. Um, mm. Yeah, no, I'll have to think of some, actually. Yeah. I'll have to think of a few new ones. And uh, Russell Gilbert, as well, is playing on your team. He is, he is a master sledger. Do you think you can learn anything from Russell tonight? He's a master of prop comedy. Uh, yeah. He already got me with the old... Footy on elastic, tied to your wrist, kick it to you, zips back to him, and yeah. I'm on his team. Yeah. So if he's putting out that sort of ammunition for me, <laughs> do not want to be in Andy's shoes. <laughs> Are you scared of anyone? We've seen Damien Monkhurst. Yeah. He yeah. practically came in via a helicopter right. this evening. I, I'm scared of the ball. Yeah. So that counts. Yeah. And um, and I'll work it back. And there's probably about 43 other guys underneath yeah. that who I'm also scared of. It's quite a terrifying noise when that ball hits. The mm. metal fence yep. down just behind yeah, it. Yeah, and I've only ever heard that as a spectator. Right. Um, well, that noise is, yeah, that's terrifying too. Yeah. But in terms of the ball hitting anything, I've only ever heard that as a spectator. I'm sure Andy told you this is the first game, the first minute yep. of football at any level I have ever played yep. at an official match. Even Oz Kick, I was left out of because it was a bit asthmatic. Right. Call me, ladies. So this, <laughs> this will be interesting. Are you, are you getting a bit frightened? Yes. Right. Yeah. No. I hope that's Danker rub trickling down the inside of my legs. <laughs> it's probably a bit too late to back out now. So. Oh, you're in does burn like that too. Yeah. Sometimes I'm checking that. I'm getting that checked out. I yeah. would. <laughs> Dr. Peter Larkin. We saw Doc him. Larkin. I'm yeah. sure he would. I have a civic wee. Doc. <laughs> that's excellent. Thanks, mate. Excellent. Thanks, but uh, I still think he'll probably uh, pit me in the end. Yeah. And of course, I want to talk to you about your brother, who also plays AFL football. Yep. Brody Holland down at Collingwood. Yep. Just wondering how uh, Brody's going. Yeah, Brody is going well. Um, he's not actually my brother. My brother is uh, Ben Holland. But uh, I'll uh, pass on my regards to Brody and uh, Ben, who's down at Melbourne and playing uh, for Melbourne this year. But uh, I'm pre pretty sure he is. <laughs> but I mean, we'll check it. But I'm pretty. Both got a B in their name. You know. Yeah. How you doing, mate? Are you ready for a big one? Uh, are you talking about now or after? <laughs> <laughs> Strawny, uh, you've come back. Uh, massive game on this stage for you last year. Yeah. Could you review that game for me now? Well, uh, unlucky, not to win best on ground. Yeah. That's my first thought. Uh, to go back and kick a pressure goal from 65 out yep. on the boundary line, if yep. I remember correctly, uh, was, was great. It was, yep. it was amazing. So that's what dreams are made out of. Uh, but I'm ha not happy with that dream. I want another dream. So this is a strongest dream part two. Okay. And you're, and you're invited. Top three Victorian players of all time? Well, EJ, of course. Strawny. And then Daylight. Yeah. Yeah, you, you might fit Ronald Dale, Barassi. 
in there somewhere. Yeah. Probably he would have been third. Although he didn't come out to play tonight. He didn't play tonight, which is a bit soft. So Ronald Dale, if you're watching, get here next year, mate. A rumour's going around that you could be used as trade bait for Jonathan Brown next year. And who else? I mean, that's the thing. Yeah. If Brisbane wants Strawny to go there, I mean, I've, I've, you know, I've got the tan for it, which yeah. is great. Uh, they're going to have to give up more than Jonathan Brown. Yep. You know, put Nigel Lappin in there. Put a, I don't know, I haven't seen him for a while. Adcock. Yeah. Actually, keep Adcock there because I want to play next year because I think his name's funny. <laughs> Adcock. <laughs> and I've noticed you've, you've got a tattoo Adcock. there. Yeah. Um, what, can you tell us what that means? What does that translate I'm, to? I, I'm not exactly sure. I think they're like farmyard animals and right. uh, like dragons and, and monkeys and snakes and, and maybe tigers and this one's because it's cute. And also it's to remind Strawny that the tortoise won the race and guess he's going to win the race tonight. Strawny. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you Strawny. <laughs>